um, you can go ahead and do some uploaded related things um, based on what you want your app to do but I just wanted to show you that this returns true and in here you might want to do stuff uh, based on whether the upload is true or false but I'll leave that empty for now okay so let's go outside of this if block here so regardless of whether we uploaded a file or not we want to return back to that form so let's do a return redirect remember that's a laravel um helper function as well so redirect um to the upload um, form so that lives in the url for slash upload okay so um let's go ahead in our browser and then we test that right so i'll come to the form here and i'll do choose file oh uh, actually we made a mistake we haven't defined um this app file destinations config in our config um, file so let's go ahead and do that now so what we need to do is go to um, config app.php let's add in um, an extra key right at the top here just do a file destination part and um, that should be the key and the value will be uploads okay so inside of our base destination part we want to create another folder called uploads and store files there all right and since we're using the um, sessions class we're gonna have to change another file so inside your config folder here go to file systems and um, scroll down to the part where it says local here so disks don't worry about everything that's below local just worry about the local key here so the root should be um, resource part not storage part so um, just a little um, primer the resource um, storage part is this folder here so by default this um, local um, disk is set up to store every uploaded file here but we're going to change it and put it in resources here okay so change this to resource part so we're going to change the storage to resource and um, that's all you need to do so now every file will be in this resources folder here and um, any part that you pass to um, the storage class here like this um, destination part will be created uh, that folder will be created in the resources folder and then any uploaded file will be put in that subfolder so let's go back to our browser if you notice there's nothing in resources here um, like an uploads folder but once we successfully uploaded a file it should create one there so I'll choose a file and um, in this case let's do a screenshot um, that's an image file that I got from Amazon and I'll open that and now we're gonna do upload it says pass error on um, line 18 app.php so let's have a look at what's there so this file here on line 18 1718 okay seems like I forgot a comma here because every key has to have a comma I give key value has to have a comma in an array I'll refresh that and um, let's continue and retry that and let's see whether that uploads the file and it seems we have an error here okay so apparently the um, storage from class doesn't have access to um, this folder the resources folder to create um, directories and all that so we're going to um, do a smart and then um, so that it has access to do operations in that folder so um, I'll stop this for now and let's go back to our terminal and let's do a chmod and um, a 777 recursive um, on that folder which is the resources folder and I press enter now let's go back to our form and see if, if we can um, do our retry that upload again so I'll just go here do a wait so let's close this here seems like it um, has an issue so um, let's do that it's not handle upload upload here okay so I'll choose the file again and um, this type is the same file open and I'll upload as you can see um, it came back to this page here which means that the file has been uploaded so let's go to um, that folder there and um, 
all right so apparently created another subfolder up here and then push the upload um files there and the reason for that is in our configuration of file systems here we did pass in an app um string here so it's going to go to the resource part and then create that that will be the base so let's remove that and retry again i'll choose the file this time you shouldn't create the app folder because that's not what you want so i'll upload it and as you can see we have the uploads folder directly inside of resources which is what we want and this screenshot here is uh, what was uploaded right so i thank you guys for watching this series and this video and um if you like these videos please like and subscribe to my channel and um, i'll see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye